Shooting maybe actually probably is the most important skill in basketball. And when you look at it, a strong majority of shots are off the catch. So regardless of position, we need to work on this ability to move, catch and shoot in tough situations. So my guy John here, for example, is clearly a primarily more ball dominant point guard with crazy skills with the ball, but he also knows how important it is to develop more off ball skills too. Even as a point guard, you won't have the ball in your hands at all times. In fact, many times you'll get the offense going and then it'll come back to you off the catch. So our goal here was to get him more and more comfortable with these off the catch shots so that we can get these numbers up to 40%. Check out this workout, let me know what you think. on this one you just kind of go on wide swings outside your frame so you're moving side to side just here here ah, here really pushing it outside of your shoulders here whenever i say go you're picking it up from wherever you're at yep super wide go nice so for this first one i guess you could say it's a bit of a shooting warm-up just seeing the ball go through the rim but also challenging the ability to pull the ball to the center and up Simple skill, but good to isolate sometimes, and it can definitely make these shots a bit more difficult. Go. Yep, we'll go same idea here, but you're going from high to low as well. So now you're going, we'll go uh, kind of like an under the leg here. So here, 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 here. Again, dropping down, changing that height, and then coming back up with your super wide outside your frame. When I say go, pulling it as quick as you can. Then obviously adding in a height change here, and even more of a demand on finding good hand position. Notice how I'm saying it at different times to adjust the hand position he's starting with. Go. So he has to find his way back into that loaded wrist. Yeah, way to make it work, two more. And train getting into a shot out of any catch position. All while getting warm in these lower levels and training the ability to shoot from there. Go. Go. Got it, hell yeah. All right, last one you'll do. Now you're going with the dribble. So same idea where you're going from uh, low to high. Think about as you make that move, you drop and then up. So drop, up, drop, up. Literally trying to get that up shoulder height here. Whenever I say go, same idea, knock it down quick. Go. Oh yeah, one. Then we're adding in a dribble because why not? I do believe that if you're able to shoot off the dribble from different positions, it can definitely translate to off the catch. Plus, just because you're focusing on one skill doesn't mean you're completely restricted from training others. Give yourself room for some freedom and still work on things that you need to work on. Go. Yeah. Go. Yes, sir. I lied. You got four more now from behind the arc. Now it's on you from when you want to shoot it. So you can shoot whenever you want to. My hands are on my hips. Whenever I see you getting into that shooting motion, I can put a hand up and you're trying to get it up. Oh yeah. Ooh, should have had that shit one. Right now. Oh! Oh, got him, got him. Get in there. These last three really try to emphasize that change of speed. So as you come up, you see you're slow. So you're going fast. Ah, shit. Fast, slow, fast, slow, fast, slow as you start to raise up. Woo! Oh, got my head. There you go. Drop. First one you're going here. Let's say the more so like a spin out to yourself. Your goal is to get through the ball and then as far as you can along this three point line. So as you're kind of opening up for like reverse pivoting, I guess, you're going here. Big jump this way, finding those feet, getting into it. So you're trying to delay that catch as long as you can. So you're here, and then last second, that's when you pick up, just obviously for the sake of traveling, but I'm more so worried about the balance into it. This one here is a staple for me. From my end, it's a good way to evaluate a player's rotational stability, ability to use that momentum into a shot, and timing their catch up. Solid. I would say as you're turning here, the one step where it's like here, that's where you really try to push out this way. Yes, there we go. So I guess you could say the overall ability to rotate into a balanced shot, which we see a lot off of the catch. Plus it's training him from a vision standpoint, having to quickly find the rim while getting focused on getting behind the line. And it challenges what's called his proprioceptive ability as he's really rotating, whipping his head around, throwing him a bit out of whack balance wise. Other way. There you go. Exactly. Pull open that left shoulder. Yes. So really think about like 
Think about there's something behind this left shoulder and you're trying to like hit that motherfucker. Like you're trying to get pulled back here and that's gonna pull you into your bounce. You'll notice that oftentimes one side is tougher than the other depending on your dominant hand or side. So we definitely want to attack that and fill in the holes. I'll be playing defense on you. If you feel like you can get this shot off, get it off. If I close out on you to the point where you feel like you can't get it off, you're attacking one dribble into the mid range. Also, as I often try to do, I want to make it live. I want to make it a decision for him because in a game, everything we do is a decision. Whereas commonly in workouts, we know what we're doing, which makes it a lot easier. Plus, what's being a good off the catch shooter without being able to quickly read a closeout and know which decision to make? One. Same thing as last time, try to delay that pick up a little bit. So you're here and then literally last second you pick it up so you don't end up taking one, two, three. Instead of one, two, three steps after you pick it up, delay where you're picking that ball up. So it'll be more so here and now it's just one step with the ball and you can be able to pivot off that and not travel. Delay, yes, there we go, money. Yeah, get away from me. Oh, oh yeah, I'll take that. right foot. Now leaning into me as much as you can. So lean into my hands here. Lean, lean, lean. Like if, if I let go, you should fall. Lean. I should feel that pressure. Let's go. Trust it. Trust it. What you're going to do is whenever I release, you're trying to find that balance into the shot. A big lean. Big lean, big lean, big lean. There we go. Yes. All right, I know this one's weird, but I do like it a lot. And as you can see, it really takes him trusting himself to find his footing and not bust his ass to get a quality rep. <laughs> yep, yep. No. Take it. Last one, you're leaning as much as you can. Really challenge yourself, man. Fall, fuck it. This is what it should look like. Lean, lean, lean. Yeah, there you go. Yeah! <laughs> Same idea here, but you're going uh, almost like spinning it and tossing yourself out here. As far as you can, turning it this way and then getting back into that shot. So it's almost the same feeling of when you're leaning this way. Here and getting into that shot as quickly as you can. So kind of catching yourself off that. Like it's a light drop. Yep, so top, yep, drop it. And then as fast as you can here, find that base and then get into it. Yes, there we go. So the goal of the last one was to kind of subconsciously show him his limits. And now we can get on balance in even a super crazy falling situation. And now we're scaling it back and applying it in a more realistic situation that's still pretty difficult, but controlled enough to get reps with. I want him really turning here and forcing himself to rotate back towards the rim, which will be the case very often. Now, if I close out on you, you're, you're kind of escaping laterally here. So if you catch it, I close out on you, you're just taking one little escape, getting out to the side, still a three ball. Then, as I mentioned earlier, making it a decision again. For these next couple, try to make sure, just for the sake of working on this, that that first step is like a big crossover here. So we're having like a slide here, which is probably, you know, more comfortable with that. Big crossover, we'll get to it from there. There we go, yes. One. There we go. Got it. Money. Oh, oh yeah. I'll take that. I'll take it. Get all the way there. All the way there. Okay. You got a three. Yes, sir. Three. Money. One more. Got it. Yeah. Is you're just working off me. So wherever I attack to, let's say I attack downhill this way, you can fill in behind me. You can go corner. Essentially acting like I have the ball. I'm attacking. You're finding space for a three. Now here, an easy game simulation reps type drill where we're working with realistic movement and catches. Also notice the goal, three out of five here. This just adds a bit of pressure to it. And this is my way of balancing the tough, lower quantity reps with these higher quantity reps that we still need. Still getting a lot of shots up, but with more realistic type shots that apply the qualities we've been working on. There you go. Take three out of these next five. All right. Take two seconds, three out of five. Let's go. Take that, let's go. Yep, need the Yep, hand up, hand up. Oh yeah, it's like Got it. Oh one. All right, go. Oh. Two. Three. Oh yeah, there you go. Stay wing, I'm giving you five. All bad passes, gotta make five for eight. Then one more kind of chill drill with that same high rep idea. 
but including bad passes to make each rep different and difficult. And even if these aren't super bad passes every single time, they're realistic and they're forcing him to adjust a bit, which is the main goal. Three for four. Four for five. Give me that one, five for six. Ah! Four for six. Ah, that's too easy. Take it though. Five. If, I'm, if it's to my left right here, I'm jumping from my left, trying to get over it and land on both feet here. So I'm big jump here, landing on both, and then controlling my momentum up into the shot. Try it out. You don't even have to shoot on the first one, just get a feel for it. Exactly, but try to make one sound with both feet. There you go. Pull over. There we go. Yes, good pop. This one's tougher than you'd expect, trust me. The main focus here is controlling that vertical momentum that comes with landing from this. There will be times where we have to land from a slightly higher position into a quick shot. Yes, there we go. Yeah, I know. It should feel a little bit out of control, like you're landing. Like, oh. And this can be tough because we have to redirect that right back up into it. And if you can control and make this shot, every shot moving laterally will be that much easier. Got it. You're facing away from the basket now, tossing it out here, and then your goal is to catch it and get over this as you hop. All right, so it should feel again a little out of control. You toss it, you're finding it here, you're going one, and then controlling that momentum into it. My thought process here is that you can control this where you're turning, kind of jumping, and you have that vertical momentum downwards. It's easy to get into a catch and shoot or something off that. So I'm just trying to exaggerate it here to the point where it's like, all right, everything else can be easy as shit. Yes. Let's go. Try it again. Watch me one more time. Watch me one more time. Oh, shit. Yes. Not bad. Same thing here. Try it out, and I promise you, you'll see what I mean. Nice. Way to control that. Easy. Coming back up this way. I'm passing it to you. Damn. Shit never wants to stay up. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright. This is terrible. Bro, was it not just up? There we go. Uh, same idea. I'm passing it from up here. Your goal is I'm gonna be passing it as you're kind of getting over it here. So you gotta coordinate everything to catch it as you're getting over that. Yes, there we go. Money, easy work. Then last one like this, now he's gotta combine this with some rotation as he squares to the rim. And he's gotta catch it at the same time. There's a lot going on here, and I'm trying to once again, get him comfortable with all this so that the standard shot will be that much easier. Now we'll make it super simple, coming up, into the same shot, and then fading corner. What's your goal? Eight out of 12, eight out of 50, whatever. I don't care. Not 50, obviously, but. Eight out of 12? Let's go. So back and forth, let's make eight out of 12. And to end it, just getting some reps up in a somewhat similar but easier drill. Again, setting a goal to add some pressure and get him thinking about it. Just building these psychological skills versus just cruising through it. So hopefully this helps you develop a bit better understanding of how to truly challenge yourself in workouts. It shouldn't be easy and you shouldn't be getting through it at a crazy high percentage. John's a really good player and a great coordinated athlete. And we're still finding ways to really challenge his skill. Do the same and I guarantee you, you'll see results. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning in. See you next time. Make or miss. Make or break. Yes, sir. I'll take it. Two free throws and we're done. Good shit, bro. Way to push through that.